Ladies and gents, welcome to Boys. How are you doing today? Danny Stewart from BaseJapanDirect.com with a quick uh, uh, sound comparison and naked uh, sound test. Um, these are both in on my base and services. They're both uh, Greco JB 500s. Um, one is from the early to mid 70s, and this one here in my hands is uh, from the late to 70s, 1977 to be precise. Uh, So um, it sounds a little bit different to the early 70s one. So that was a uh, balanced uh, for slap. The body material is different. This is solid agathis, whereas this one over here is natto wood with uh, multi-part natto wood with um, with a uh, uh, maple back and top veneer. I like this better, to be quite honest. <laughs> that sounds better to me. Uh, they both sound great, but um, yeah. And rear pickup. Same thing for uh, the uh, late 70s one. Um really with that um, I th think the the rear pickup on on this is, is a little bit closer to the bridge by about one centimeter I think um, on the one with the pickup that's a, a little bit closer to the bridge um, but not very much in it really uh, what really struck me was um, actually the balanced tone uh, really hit me um, 
That was. Uh... Yeah, it really hit me um, with the uh, the difference between that on the late seventies and this one. On the early 70s. I'm not playing as uh, very uh, as well on this. It has the um, the tug bar, which is not something I use personally. It gets in the way. Of But I think that sounds a little bit more, um, just a little bit more present um, or something. It's not quite, sorry about the noise. Um, this is more, a bit more transparent, whereas that is a bit more, um, it's a bit more uh, kind of solid um, sounding uh, to me. Uh, it's a bit more opaque. Um, fantastic though, uh, whichever. Um, whoops. Gonna break these strings in. Um, yeah, they're both fantastic. Uh, scrum pickup. Get nice and aggressive. Yeah, there's not that much in it, um, really. My preference is personally is the early 70s one and I think it might be the tone wood uh, difference um, yeah this one's a little bit more this one's a bit transparent sounds a bit more modern uh, whereas this one's a little bit more opaque um, uh, it could it could be a difference in pickups I'm not quite sure if the models they use um, in pickups were, were different between the years um, I don't think there was that much difference. Uh, I believe it's the same maker um, of pickups, which have been Maxon. Um, although this one, the rear pickup has been replaced. Um, uh, but I don't think that's what's making the difference. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's the tone wood, basically, because all of the pickups are basically the same impedance. Um, they're like around six uh, kilo ohms around that. Um, so they're not like super hot or anything, um, but um, they have a, a nice crisp response. Um, that's good. Um, apart from that though, I mean, the tuning pegs are the same, the bridges are the same. Um, the necks are basically the same. Uh, the way they're set in the body is essentially the same neck pocket. Maybe a slight difference. 
Uh, construction is different, though. This one is multi-part agathis. Um, it looks like it's multi-part agathis, um, or could be camphor. Um, but either way, it's like um, I can see there one, two, three, four, five, six pieces to this body. Um, and it may be uh, that, let me just see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm not seeing the seams on the top, which suggests that the top might be a laminate. Um, so, yeah, I mean, both of them are multi-part construction. Um, but which is better? Um, I don't think there's much in it, really. Um, this one is multi-part mahogany and um, with... Uh, maple veneer on the top and back and uh i would say condition wise um the later model is in better cosmetic condition slightly um it doesn't have so many scratches on the body um neck is the same basically the condition of the neck is is essentially just as good trust rod is nice and healthy on both of them um Everything is working well. Um, I think maybe the the old the later one sets up marginally better than this one. It's not much in it though. Um, I just noticed the saddles have to go down a little bit lower on this this one than they do on the other. Um, uh, but that could just be the neck pocket setting. Um, this might be a little bit deeper than that. Um, plays basically they both play uh, like butter um, really nicely um, so yeah that's it really uh, what's the other thing oh the nut uh, the nut here is at the fretboard end um, bone nut larger type bone nut and uh, this one is an inset bone nut so uh, those are those are the only major differences uh, well they're not major differences just minor differences and then of course the neck plate on the early 70s one is a small neck plate, it says made in Japan on it, uh, whereas the later one is uh, um, a larger type, standard size, um, with the uh, serial number embossed, 1977 serial, and made in Japan also embossed in it. So that's it. Um, those are the, are the only differences I can think of. Weight-wise, you're looking at about four point two on that and you're looking at that marginally lighter maybe four or 4.1 on this if i'm not mistaken this feels a bit lighter though um so yeah that'll do it guys thanks a lot for watching you've been uh, uh watching a couple of greco jb500s from um the 1970s early to mid 1970s and late 1970s there uh, and one of these is going to be listing, uh, just depends on what my customer prefers, or they might prefer to forego both of these, in which case they'll both be listing. Um, so we'll see anyway. All right. Cheers, guys. I'll see you again for another one soon. Don't forget, you can uh, hire my base hunter service uh, at the link below and uh, uh, like and subscribe is always appreciated. It really helps me in the, in the algorithm. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye-bye.